so I'm taking my approach, like I always say, I'm always having a flush routine. Twist my back just a little, make sure I'm a little bit loose. For me, it's just taking that deep breath at the last second, letting Hunter call it, and taking my steps towards it. And obviously, there's a celebration at the end. For me, it's just going back nine and a half yards, going over five steps and a little step forward. You know, it's always done in the past four years. Just being able to understand you just can't try to destroy the ball, you're gonna miss hit it. And uh, you just gotta place it where you're supposed to and just trust your form. Taking those easy steps back, trusting myself. I'm a bigger kid with the bigger legs, so uh, I'm able to kind of walk and then jog into it. Very smooth and it comes natural to me. One of the biggest things I've added to my, my skill set this year is uh, Call it the Aussie punt. Put the nose down and you let the ball go up. Kind of flutter backwards like a kick, uh, rather than a spiral like, like a regular punt. Even Cody and Greg always say, you know, kicking those punt or catching those punts is a lot harder than a regular punt. I mean, people say that punters and kickers aren't people or they're not athletes, but at the end of the day, for me, I'm in and out of the weight room, same amount as the linemen, the linebackers, whatnot. You know, you go look at our 225 bench press last spring. I was in the top four. Uh, so for me, it's, you know, I know I'm an athlete. You know, some people don't see it just because all we do is kick a ball. If he comes off the bus first, you don't think he's a kicker. He's obviously put together very well. He takes care of himself. He's strong. I think if he petitioned us, he, he'd want to be on the kickoff team as a tackler, not just as the kicker. I never sit back and think, you know, oh, you're just a kicker. You're just a punter. Like, no one cares. I mean, I'm trying to change. Uh, the way people think about kickers and punters, there's no lonesome kicker or lonesome punter. You're part of the team no matter what. Holder number 34 at 8. That's 42 plus 10 is 52. He's got a 53 yarder to his record. It's kind of a blessing for you because your coach trusts you. If he trusts you, uh, you need to be able to instill that in him that the reason why you trust me is because I'm going to make this field goal. So you just have to go out there and make it. Officially a 51 yard attempt. The issue here could be his plant, plant foot with the footing. He hit it. Brinza nails it. He crushed it. That dude in the fourth quarter that kicks that damn football. Oh, Brinza. Some people say they like pressure, but they really don't. Um, you know, I, I, I honestly can say that I love pressure. This time he puts it down, and Grinza's big leg gets Notre Dame its first lead of the game. Grinza from 53. And it's way, and it is good! Taking those deep breaths really allowed me to relieve all the stress. Any type of game, home or away, or neutral site, um, that deep breath allows me to just, you know, block everything out. When we talk about making big kicks, uh, he's arguably one of the best that I've been around in making that big kick. And I think it has to do with overcoming the adversity that he had uh, with his physical ailments. Obviously being born with club foot, um, the rate of, you know, the ratio of you being able to play a sport, even walking properly is very slim. Um, you know, the odds were always put against me. As I was growing up, my grandfather always told me, you know, God gives his uh, um, toughest battle to the strongest soldier. So, you know, that's one of the biggest things for me is, you know, these odds were put against you. Why can't you overcome them? I've gone through so much more that's bigger than a game. Um, you know, my life has been a battle. Um, you know, this football aspect of my life is just a game. You know, I enjoy going out there with my brothers, but at the end of the day, you know, we got to understand it's not a way of life. It's just a, it's a job right now for us. I usually put football on the back burner when I think about stuff like that whenever I'm in a situation that's bad. And uh, understand what I've went through in my life. Um, you know, people who have had club foot would die to be where I'm at right now. I'm very blessed that they told me the odds that they were putting against me because if I didn't have those odds put against me, I probably wouldn't be where I am today. Just 219 left. Runs up. Throws that all the way back into the stadium crowd. Kyle Brins' future. Um, it's a good question. You know, I'd love to see myself in the NFL. 
But, you know, if that doesn't work out, I'll just have the greatest degree you can possibly have on this earth. The biggest thing for me is I want to be able to help others. I want to be able to go out and help those who's had birth defects like me. All I know is I'm going to be able to make an impact in someone else's life.